In the last video, I took you to my secret home studio. This is where I do some work at home when I'm away from the studio. And in that video, you saw where I placed my speakers. And in this video, I'm going to show you the optimal studio monitor placement for your speakers in your studio. Because where you put them has a lot to do with how they sound and therefore how your music ends up sounding itself. So take a look at the distance between the left and the right speaker. And what I'm talking about here is the center of the left speaker and the center of the right speaker. And then you'll notice that the speakers are angled in a little bit to point at my head and they're not quite at eye level. And therefore I got these little RLX pads to put them on that will help them angle down towards my head. So it's important to get your studio monitors at an eye line to your head and if not angle them down and in a little bit. And Take a note of that distance between the left speaker and the right speaker. And now to clarify this studio monitor setup, what we're going to do is we're going to look at an overhead view of the studio monitors. So let's add the components that we're talking about for this example. We're talking about a left speaker and a right speaker. And you'll notice that they're angled in a little bit, which I'll explain more about in a moment. And remember, this is an overhead view, so it's as if we're looking down over the top of your head. Speaking of your head, we need to add that as a component in your monitor setup. So here is your head. This is your head in your studio. So we took a measurement between the left speaker and the right speaker. That distance you wrote down, and in my case, it's about a meter. It's a little bit over three feet apart from the center of the left to the center of the right. But your distance may be a little bit different. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move your head or your speakers so that you make an upside down equilateral triangle between the left speaker and your left ear and the right speaker and your right ear. So do you see how that makes an equilateral triangle between all three of those components, the left speaker, the right speaker, and your head? Well, it's important that whatever the distance between the two speakers is, is also the same as the distance between the left speaker and your left ear, and the right speaker and your right ear. When you arrange your studio monitor and your head, and therefore your ears, in that equilateral triangle, you optimize the stereo image of the music that you're listening to. This is also known as sitting in the sweet spot. If you have to have your monitors so far apart that you have to move yourself and your head all the way back to a much further distance away from the speakers, you may want to consider tightening the distance between the left and right speaker so that you can sit closer to the speakers without having to be so far away. That's the concept of near-field monitors. You want the speakers near your head head. So if you can get your studio monitors arranged in this optimal, proper monitor setup, your music is going to be a lot easier to mix, master, and produce. And now that we know about proper monitor setup, let's talk about the volume at which you should be monitoring your music. We'll do that in the next video.